So the, the issue is, is that you're very skeptical about direct being available to patients. I'm skeptical that, that it will be, you know, doctor to doctor, that they won't tell patients about it, that patients, you know, that it'll be too hard to get an email address, that the patient will have to get an email address which has to link to something that she takes the data, and it'll it just be too much of a I, I want to I reassure you that this is really almost a done deal. It's a last mile problem. It's as though every patient in the country has the direct trust cable, the direct exchange cable, right up to their house but they don't have the infrastructure to utilize it yet, okay? So it's been, for those of you who don't know, Direct Trust is an industry alliance of 120 organizations supporting direct exchange. So it includes the providers of direct exchange and it provides some of the consumers like Mayo Clinic and Baylor and other medical centers. Um, it includes almost all of the electronic health record vendors and or their HISPs who are providing uh, services to them. So it's been, um, the, a guiding principle of direct trust and their member, our membership from very early on that patients and consumers should be full participants in direct sooner rather than later. Because of stage two meaningful use, right, and because of the demand on the provider side, we've focused primarily on provider to provider. But there are now 15, actually it's 17 HISPs who can now begin to take and serve patients with direct addresses. And those patients, or consumers who would utilize those direct addresses could be able to connect with any one of the HISPs and their thousands of uh, subscribers. So what we need is we need you to, to know that this is available. We need a really organized campaign of education and information, and we need to support a whole new infrastructure of what I call next generation personal health records. And there are some of them around, um, uh, Healthy Circles, uh, Vitals, uh, uh, Health Companion. And these um, are members of Direct Trust. And these are members of Direct Trust. So, but, but if the Health 2.0 community and the patient advocacy community still thinks this is a long way away and it isn't gonna happen, it will be harder for it to happen. So I'm, I'm, really work, I'm really looking forward to working with you, with you and others to get the word out that we can get this done in the next year or so.